Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get around in this first major module in our PowerPoint class. On my screen I've already uh, logged into Canvas, and uh, you should always start here when you start a new module to see what is going to be in the module and what the directions are. So from this home page you can either click the modules link here on the left, or you can click the modules button down here on the lower left area. They both bring you to the same page. On the modules page, this is what you'll see for the first module. Uh, keep in mind that before you start the first module, you also you need to complete this first. Do this first before module one. Try it out. Play with PowerPoint. So if you have any questions about how to do this first exercise, please let me know. You can just email me any questions. When you're ready to start Module 1, you would just single click on each of the tasks and do them one by one when you're ready to do them. This first task, or it's not even a task really, it's just an explanation that tells you what a module is. You won't see this anywhere else. This is just on the first one. And so just to demonstrate what it looks like, if you click on it, it will open a brief explanation of what a module is in this particular class. Different teachers create modules for different reasons and, and may have different things in them. So this explains how I do my modules in my class. When you're finished, you can do a couple of things. You can either click Modules here once again to get back to the beginning, or you can click over here. You'll notice there's a Next button in the lower right area, and when you hover over it with your mouse pointer, a little screen tip comes out telling you what's going to come next. So if I were to click on this button, it brings me to the next, very next con uh, sequential page in the module. The overview of, of a module always comes first, which explains what you're going to learn and how you're going to learn it. Here, if you scroll the page down a little bit, you'll see the learning objectives. These are the student learning objectives or student learning outcomes. These are the things that you're going to learn how to do in this module. If you keep scrolling a little bit more, there's a shorter bulleted list that is a brief summary of what you're going to do in Module 1. And at the very bottom is a video that shows how to navigate this particular module, which is basically what I'm doing right now, is showing you that. So you can click here to run uh, that particular video. Every module will have one like that, a video like that. So when you're done looking at this picture, you can, or this uh, page I should say, you can click Next once again in the lower right corner. Next coming up is the Module 1 Lecture At. A lecture At is the same thing as a lecture, only it's pretty short. This is about as long as my lectures are online. <laughs> Just a few paragraphs that try to clarify the kinds of things you're going to learn about. And it also, my lecturettes also give you some good advice about how the best practices of how to use PowerPoint in different kinds of situations. So please do read the lecturettes uh, as they come up. Then I'm going to click next again for the next piece of module one. It's going to ask you to read chapter one in your textbook. And also, it's going to tell you here, do the how-tos, which are little mini exercises as you are reading the chapter that walk you through step-by-step step how to do the new little features and things in PowerPoint. And then finally, down here at the bottom, it says do the pause and practice exercises. That's also optional. The how-tos are optional. The pause and practice exercises are optional. But these are a little bit longer. They're like tiny mini projects that just take a few minutes to complete. And these really can teach you in a better way, in a training kind of way, how to do the new tasks, the new uh, skills, learning the new skills, and, and using the new features in PowerPoint as you go through the chapter. You are not going to be graded on pause and practice exercises or on the how-tos. These are just ways in which you can learn how to use PowerPoint. 
Then click Next to get to the next direction for Module 1. The next bit is a particular video just on how to do visual enhancement to a PowerPoint slide. This is a video I recorded myself. Uh, you'll hear my narrated voice on it. You can run it from here. It is a YouTube video. And when you're done with watching the video, please be sure to go past that down at the bottom in purple you'll see a question or a statement and you need to answer that because that is worth 10 points it's part of the module and if you scroll up to the top of this particular page where their video is you'll see a blue button that says submit assignment when you are ready to answer that question which is down here you would click the Submit Assignment button, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. When you do that, all that it does, it, it doesn't change anything or make anything disappear. You'll still see the directions, you'll still see the video itself, and you'll still see the question you need to answer in purple here. But it, what that does when you click the Submit Assignment, it opens up this text box here where you can type your answer to this question in purple above. And when you're finished typing your answer, then again you would click Submit Assignment down here in the bottom. When you're finished, you can click Next again and get to the guided project. Now sometimes you might see this little message pop up. It depends on how your computer is set up. Do you want to leave this page or this site? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and click Leave because I'm not making any changes here. And it's going to next shift to the next bit of Module 1 which is the major part of the module. This is the guided project. This is the project you're going to do where you work on a PowerPoint slideshow file yourself. It is worth 50 points and this tells you basically basic information about this project. It gives, tells you when it's due, how many points it's worth, how you're going to submit this work. You're going to file upload, meaning you're going to submit it here. The type of file you have to turn in is a PowerPoint file, which is a .pptx file extension. Uh, this is when it's available. In other words, you won't be able to do this before August 24th. You won't be able to do this and then, uh, after September 16th. That's going to be the end of when you can do this. And as you go through, these are directions on how to do this project, where you're going to find the directions and the steps for the project. And finally, at the bottom, I've posted the two student data files that are required for you to use while you work on this project. So you're going to start uh, here. It's going to tell you what to do, and you can download them from here. You can also download these same files from SimNet. That is, if you use SimNet to read your book, if you don't have a physical hard copy of the textbook, and you have to log into SimNet to read the chapter, you will also find links to the files you need to do this project there. I'm going to go ahead and click Next again and get to the next part of the module for you. This is the last part of the module. This is a discussion where you read this discussion question or a statement. It tells you what to do. And when you're finished reading this, you would click Reply when you're ready to answer the question click reply and again all that happens is it will open a text box down here at the bottom where you type your answer and when you're finished typing it you would go to the lower right corner and in blue you'll click post reply now keep in mind that I've just sent uh, showed you all the parts of a given module it doesn't mean you have to go through and do the whole module at once you have um, about a week to complete this module and you can do parts of it and then you know make sure you save your work or upload it and make sure that you log out completely and when you come back to it you can pick up where you left off. So this is module one. Uh, again I'm going to click next. There's a next button in the lower right and all that does is bring you to the end of the module. It just makes sure that you know there isn't any more to do on it. So if you have any questions, I'm going to go back to the modules 
beginning page. This is module one. If you have questions, please let me know. Um, you can email me anytime, of course. Module two, you might notice, is listed down here below, but when you, if you try to click on module two, it will open up the pieces of the module, but when you click on these pieces, you'll get a message telling you that the module is locked until a certain date. So, for example, Module 2 will be available for you to start working on it on September 13th. Module 2 isn't due until September 20th. So I'm going to go back quickly just to the modules page, show you one more thing, one more thing. Notice that the you have these little tiny triangle buttons uh, or icons to the left of the title of each module. When you click on that little tiny little uh, triangle, it is an expanding or collapsing tool. You can expand or collapse the details of each module by clicking, toggling it on or off. So if you have any questions, please do let me know. And uh, if you get stuck anywhere, don't hesitate to ask for help.